Good day, my dear students. Our lesson for today is about passive and active voices. This lesson highlights the grammatical features and forms of voices of the verb. This also focuses on points to be considered in transforming active voice to passive voice and vice versa. Before we start, let us have a short introduction about the subject, verb, and object of a sentence. Subject A subject is the person, place, thing, or idea that the sentence is about. Example, Jen wrote a letter. In this sentence, the subject is Jen. Verb The verb is the action that is being performed by the subject. It explains what the subject is doing. Example, Jen wrote a letter. In this sentence, the verb is wrote. The last one is object. The object is the person or thing that receives the action of the verb. Example, Jen wrote a letter. In this sentence, the object is letter. Voices of the verb. Voices of the verb focuses on the function of the subject being either the doer or performer or the receiver of the action. They are classified as two, active and passive. Active voice occurs when the subject of the sentence acts as the performer of doer of the action, while passive voice indicated that the subject of the sentence is the receiver of the action. Though it is not always present, the doer of the action in passive voice is introduced by the preposition by. Take note of this. Active voice tell us what a person or thing does. The subject perform the action or the verb on the object. Our pattern is subject plus action plus object. Example, Anna painted the house. Anna is the subject Painted is the action, and the object is house. While in the passive voice, it tells us what is done to someone or something. The subject is being acted upon. Our pattern is object plus action plus subject. Example, the house was painted by Anna. House is the object. Painted is the action, and Anna is the subject. Let me give you another example. The teachers prepared the materials for their class. The teachers here is the subject. Prepared is the action, and materials is the object. Now, Let's transform the given example into passive voice. The materials were prepared by the teachers for their classes. Let's see if it follows the pattern. Materials is the object, were prepared is the action, and the subject here is introduced by the preposition by. In transforming a verb from active to passive or vice versa, take note of the tense of the verb. If the verb in active voice is in present tense, the passive voice should also be in passive voice and vice versa. However, the form of the verb as to S or simple forms vary depending on the number of the subjects. In passive voice, the main verb is usually introduced by an auxiliary verb. 
Let's have an example in a simple present tense. In active voice, Jason prepares his meals. In this sentence, Jason is the subject, prepares is the action, and meals is the object. If we transform it into passive voice, his meals are prepared by Jason. Meals is the object, are prepared is the action, and Jason is the subject introduced by the preposition by. Now, let us now have an example in a simple past tense. Example, in an active voice, Ethan informed his clients on the status of their order. Ethan here is the subject. Informed is the action and his clients is the object. If we transform it into passive voice, his clients were informed by Ethan on the status of their order. His clients is the object, were informed, is the action, and Ethan is introduced by the preposition by as the subject. Now let us now have in a simple future tense. Example in an active voice, the students will submit their report tomorrow. The students here is the subject will submit is the action and their report is the object if we transform it into passive voice their report will be submitted by the students tomorrow their report is the object will be submitted is the action and the subject here introduced by the preposition by is the students Next is present perfect tense. Example in active voice, the school has decided to shut up its operation. The school here is the subject, has decided is the action, and its operation is the object. If we transform it into passive voice, its operation has been decided to shut up by the school. Its operation is the object, has been decided is the action, and by the school is the subject. The fifth one is past perfect tense. In active voice, Athena had studied English before she moved to the U.S. Athena here is the subject, had studied is the action. And English is the object. If we transform it into passive voice, English had been studied by Athena before she moved to the U.S. The object here is English, had been studied is the action, and Athena is the subject introduced by the preposition by. The last one is future perfect tense. In active voice, Anthony will have baked the cake before he leaves. Anthony here is the subject, will have baked is the action, and the cake is the object. In a passive voice, the cake will have been baked by Anthony before he leaves. The object is the cake. Action is will have been baked and the subject is Anthony introduced by the preposition by. Convert the following sentences from active voice to passive voice. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. The mayor declared a state of calamity. Number 2. The students of the various school visited the museum in the city. Number three, 
our parish priest will officiate the Mass during our town fiesta. Number 4. Her mother prepared cups of coffee for her classmates. And number 5. The governor ordered the closure of all provincial borders. Very good! Convert the following sentences from passive voice to active voice. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. The pyramids were built by Egyptians during the ancient civilization. Number 2. A cup of coffee was prepared by the servant. Number 3. The documents have been prepared by the clerks for the hearing. Number 4. The gift is given by the boss to his employees. And number 5. Our papers were accepted by the secretary. Very good! What are the forms of the voices of the verb? Excellent! Identify the following. Write A if the statement is in active voice and P if it is in a passive form. Number 1. No Leme Tangere is considered by expert as an enlightening novel. Number 2. The terraces were built by our ancestors. Number 3. Catriona Gray won the Miss Universe 2018 title. Number 4. The Philippines owns the Venham rice found in eastern portion. Number 5. Residents of Calabarzon were affected by the Mount Taal eruption. Number 6. The Spaniards colonized the Philippines. Number 7. The bouquet of roses was given by Alex to his mother. Number 8. Her good deeds are rewarded by her parents. Number 9. Their family will receive financial support from the government. And number 10, the petition will be submitted by the lawyer to the prosecutor. Good job! For your homework, Think of your most favorite dish. In your notebook, write the ingredients and the procedures to be taken in preparing your favorite dish. For each step, identify if it is in an active or passive voice. Then, transform each statement from active to passive and vice versa. And send your answer to my email account. That would be all for today. Goodbye!